I mean, it is petrifying. I mean, this is what keeps you up at night. You know, you worry, you pray every day to make sure that your kids are going to be safe. Because, I mean, it's scary. It is very scary. You cannot imagine. Jemison High School placed on lockdown this morning after a report of a school shooting on campus. In this video, courtesy Sky 19, you can see dozens of Huntsville police officers responding to the school to assess a possible threat. And Huntsville City Schools, not the only school district that responded to threats of an active shooter today. Four North Alabama school districts confirmed to News 19 that they were targeted by these calls today. Law enforcement determined the calls were fake, but it left parents, students, and staff shaken across North Alabama. And that's where we begin for News 19 at 4. I'm Jerry Hayes. And I'm Christine Killemeyer. Jemison High School first received a call about that fake threat just after 8 o'clock this morning. Jemison High shares a building with McNair Middle School. Huntsville City School says it immediately implemented safety and security protocols. News 19's Emily Moser joins us now live from Jemison High. So Emily, can you walk us through what the protocols look like and what actually happened today? Well, Huntsville City School says it placed Jemison under a lockdown as soon as it received that call. Now, very shortly after that, the street here behind me became full of law enforcement vehicles as they responded to the scene. Now, as you can see in this video, that response included Huntsville Police, Madison County Sheriff's Office, and some state troopers. Huntsville City School says at this time it is not issuing any on-camera interviews about what happened here earlier today, but gave us a statement. Huntsville City School says law enforcement did a full search of the building and did not find anything credible. Students and staff were evacuated from the building at some point during that search. Now classes resumed by 1030 with a scheduled dismissal of 1240 because of exams. However, many parents chose to come and check their children out prior to dismissal. And May Jemison was not the only school to go through that this morning. Schools in three other districts received very similar calls. That includes Wilson Elementary and High School in Lauderdale County, Scottsboro High School and West Morgan High School. Trinity Police Chief Randy Hughes walked us through what it was like at West Morgan High School. So we received a false call uh, of, of a shooting here at West Morgan High School. We had an SRO on scene. Uh, he immediately determined that it was false. We resp responded, officer responded, and secured the perimeter, uh, secured the school. Chief Hughes tells me West Morgan High School was not placed under a lockdown during the situation. He tells me students were taking exams and carried on like normal while law enforcement investigated. Now, the Morgan County Sheriff's Office says the call that came in that falsely reported that shooting came from an Ohio area code. Again, today, four different schools in our district received these false shooter calls, that keyword being false. None of these were found to be credible, and law enforcement is still investigating. Stay with us here on News 19 as we continue to bring you updates on this. But for now, live in Huntsville, Emily Moser, News 19.